Okay, I'm back for more albums from the B section of the collection. We'll start with this one. This one's not bad. Could you, it could have been played a little quicker. Everybody knows what this one is. I'm not even going to tell you about it. You already know. This is their last one, and it's pretty good. And I seen them. What's that? Oh, that's a picture from a Black Flag show. And I saw Black Flag on the Loose Nut tour and this one. This album is one of the best. This one's okay. I was at this show, but I don't have a ticket stub for it, but you'll just have to take my word for it. I was at this show in Portland, Oregon. In fact, it was my very first punk rock concert. It was the recording of the Who's Got the Ten and a Half. Here's the Live 84 in San Francisco. And this one's pretty good. It's a bootleg. The sound is pretty good. Here's the Everything Went Black. With the black flag and the bars. Whited out. And here's the first little 7 inch. And I don't know what pressing this is, probably 4th or 5th. And this one's pretty good. The radio, um, on side four, the radio recordings are funny. Advertising the shows at the Fleetwood and the Starwood. Um, I just recently bought this one, and it's no good. There's not one good song on this thing. I wouldn't suggest buying it. Now this, I would suggest buying. This is a great little record. It's got Chavo singing on it. Every song is a classic Black Flag song. And here's the My War. This one's good. It's worth having. Here's their most recent record that there's just something wrong with it. It's hard to pinpoint what's wrong with this record, but it's the what the record and this is from when I went and seen them um, in Portland because Ron Reyes was singing and actually the show was really good. I wish I had a, um, a video of it. Here's Bracket, When All Else Fails. They are a Fat Records pop punk band with some catchy little songs. Another Bracket record. I haven't listened to this in probably 20 years. I can't even remember what this thing sounds like. But it's probably Fat Records Pop Punk. Here's the Bus Boys. The band made famous from the movie uh, 48 Hours. Here's another Bus Boys record. And these are just kind of funky records that if you play them fast, they're, they're not too bad. Here's Bad Religion, Process of Belief. And that's a, is this a ticket? Ah, this is a ticket from the It's Not Dead Fest, October 10th, 2015. Here's the New America. And this is the epitaph version of it. And the vinyl is pink, kind of see-through pink. And here's the original version of it from Atlantic Records. And the vinyl's black, 
and here's a um, clipping from a newspaper from when I went and seen him on this tour in Las Vegas. Here's the Stranger Than Fiction maxi single. It's got leaders and followers on it, mediocrity and Stranger Than Fiction and some tour dates. And a ticket stub from a show in Portland, Oregon. Here's a Bad Religion bootleg and the sound quality is kind of horrible, um, but it's from 1990 in Europe. And I can't remember what color the vinyl is, but it's just kind of a lousy little bootleg. Here's a Stranger Than Fiction individual picture disc. Here's an autographed promo photo that they sent me when I joined the Bad Religion fan club back in the mid-90s. Here's the new maps of hell. This one's really good, especially the first side. And this is a, um, they, they played two nights in Las Vegas, and I went both nights. Here's the ticket stubs. And both nights were really good. Oh, and here's, um, There's, oh, it's it's in another record, but there's a ticket stub from. They did a free show in Las Vegas with all the all the original members or all the dudes you see in the picture, and it was free. You had to go there. I don't know, like a week before the show, and stand in line. And if you were one of the first people in line, you got a a free ticket to a show that they filmed for some web service called The List. Here's another picture disc of 21st Century Digital Boy. And it's got um, some live tracks from the Hollywood Palladium. And somewhere I have a ticket stub from that show. And here's the red vinyl copy of the 30 Years Live. Here's their double live album. And it's from the 1996 tour. Here's their newest album with a ticket stub from when I went and seen them in Royal Oak, Michigan. And here's the little record store day, um, seven inch. And this is the colored vinyl, I think it's clear. And here's a ticket that is yet to be used. It's for April 15, 2020 at the Fillmore in Detroit. And it's also for a bad religion show that has yet to be. Here's the generator record and a ticket stub from when I seen him in Las Vegas at the Huntridge Theater on this tour. Recipe for Hate. I've seen him a few times on this tour. At the Huntridge, of course, because back then that was the only place having any type of shows in Las Vegas. Here's True North. I think this is the red vinyl. This record's really good. There's some ticket stubs from times I went and seen them in Eugene and Portland. Here's the Christmas record on red vinyl. And this one's very good. It's fun to listen to. Here's How Can Hell Be Any Worse? And this one's this one's okay. I don't I don't like it as much as I do the others, but it's okay. Here's Bad Religion Back to the Known. This one's okay, too. It's got Frogger on it. That's a funny little song.
and here's the Empire Strikes First, and this this album's okay too. It's got like four good songs on it. <coughs> here's the Grey Race, and this one's pretty good. These are this is a clipping from when they when, where they played in Las Vegas, and I remember before the show. I saw a really bad car accident. That was that that stunk to see. I don't like to see car accidents. Here's their compilation album called All Ages. Here's a no substance record. This one is kind of weak and different. Here's the Stranger Than Fiction record on Atlantic Records. I think it's, I think the vinyl's red. I think they all were red. Here's another copy of the No Substance. And here's a clipping from the Los Angeles Times for when they did a um, meet and greet at Tower Records on Sunset Boulevard. And the one I showed you before it's a ladder version, and I think the vinyl is pink or green or something. And this one is just the major record label copy. So the vinyl would be black. Here's The Descent of Man. And this one has got like four good songs on it, and then that's about the end of them. There's a ticket stub from when I went and seen them in Portland. And this is the orange copy, as far as vinyl color. Here's Bad Religion, No Control. This record is one of just one of the best things you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> Here's the original Bad Religion. And this one's really good. Here's the We're Not the Damned bootleg. This one's really good. This is um, a full show from the Suffer tour. And this, this is kind of rare. Back a long time ago when you joined the Bad Religion Fan Club, they sent you one of these. And <laughs> it's a little bag. I should have kept the little newsletters that they would send me, but those are kind of long gone. So anyway, if you see this, it's worth a $20 bill. Sound quality is really good. Um, here's the Against the Grain record. This also is like the best thing you've ever heard in your life. I bought this at Mad Platter Records in Riverside, California when it first came out. Here's a flyer that I picked up at a GBH show at the Country Club in Reseda, and this is for the North Hollywood um, Theater show that they had the riot. And here's um, some type of writing, because I picked this thing up off the floor. Looks like some type of gang writing. Anyway, this is the original flyer for the riot show, and I didn't go. I was living in Laughlin, Nevada, and it was just too far away, and I'm glad I didn't go, because bad religion never got to play. And I would have driven clear across the state of California for nothing, just to be tear gassed or whatever. Okay, here's the masterpiece, one of the this is one of the best punk rock albums ever made. And again, I bought this at Mad Platter Records in Riverside. And that's it. Let's show this one more time. This record is extremely good. But anybody watching this video already knows that. Okay, well tonight I'm gonna go to a house show down the street from me here in Detroit, and there's a band called The Stools, which 
if you watch my channel, you've seen them, and they're going to be playing in a house, and I, I think I'll stop by and just see what it is. Um, if there's a bunch of underage kids drinking, then I'm out of there. I, I don't need to be hanging, hanging around underage kids that are drinking, but if it's like a 21 and over house show, I might stick around because... That band, The Stools from Detroit, they're, they're very, very good. I can't believe they don't have a record contract with Fat Records. Um, I told them to send, they have a little 7-inch through um, Third Man Records here in Detroit, and they really should send a copy of that to Fat Mike. I'm sure he'd sign them up. Okay, so you might be seeing a video soon of that house show, but we'll see how it goes. Like I said, if I see underage drinking, I'm going home. Plus, I have to work in the morning. Okay, thank you very much.